Hi guys, Muddy Gamer here, and as promised uh, a few weeks ago now, this is a quick tour of my setup that I've got. So over here is where I do um, some of my editing. I'll put a laptop up there, it makes it a bit more comfortable. Apparently the laptop's in the bag down there. There is my gaming PC. She's a bit of a beast in my purpose-built frame with my Xbox One X on top. This is going to be covered in um, like car carpet at some point. So uh, there is a couple of photos in the video that I'm going to be trying to put together to show you how I built it. And then we get around to the business end of it. So when I'm streaming, I see you guys on here, watching the game on there. There's my uh, TX race wheel, my speakers. For I, the only reason I have these is so I can hear when you guys subscribe. Um, then I've got my 8-way uh, shifter and uh, my T3PA Pro pedals down there. Now, as you can probably see over the back, there is a webcam just dangling. And that is because that was foot cam right there. And I do want to get foot cam working again. Um, so I'm going to try to be doing that this weekend and try and get that sorted out all along with Streamlabs and there's the rest of my stuff down there another broken TX base because up there is my uh, my current, well my old TX base that's in here and uh, there's the pedals and the steering wheel that came with it and all the other gumph that I've got and then you've got sofa beanbag, weights to keep trim etc, all manner of gaming related stuff around but uh, yeah so what I usually do is when I'm sitting down is I will have, let's see if it's actually still on so you guys can see what I usually do so that's how it looks for me right now as you can see that's me right there so what I do is I've got OBS set up, let's try and zoom that in, there we go. So I've got OBS set up and then I add all sorts of templates and scenes and sources um, to get it exactly how I want it. I have my dashboard from Restream open and I also have the alert box from um, Streamlabs, so that's uh, two, two pieces of software I'd say use. And then I also have the chat open from... Uh, the actual app that you get from um, stream, uh, no, from Restream, sorry. So you can add all these different channels using Restream. So you can see I'll go to Mixer, YouTube. Periscope's actually out to Twitter. So you link your Periscope to your Twitter account and it will um, link it to Twitter and means that you can be seen there. Um, I have my Twitch as well. Down the bottom, the beauty of uh, having my Microsoft account connected to my Xbox account is that I get this little thing down here tell me before it actually comes up there So if I'm not too in depth with what I'm doing not having to put too much attention in, I can actually read down here when someone um, sends me a message and uh, As you can see look at that. That's the sort of reflection on it will nice big smudge up there on, on the screen uh, That's the sort of reflection. I'm trying to deal with during the day. I've got my nice big green screen. Hang on this let's, let's get up Oh yeah, my uh, my blue snowball. That's what you hear me through. Uh, my um, recon, I think they are. Stealth, hang on, let me read. Stealth 600s, they are. Stealth 600s, Total Beaches. They're a great bit of kit. Um, everything gets, sort of gets plugged into here. This is all going to be a lot more tidy once I get this all buttoned up nicely. I have an Elgato uh, down the back here, as you can see just there. That's my Elgato, and as you can see, all the plugs and that. Let's try and get this to actually zoom. And you can see all the plugs and stuff there. So, a little zoom down there. That's all the gubbins. Uh, my internet comes through that wall into a splitter there. Goes up to there. My Xbox One X comes out the back. I've got my little 500 um, gig hard drive there. I've got my two. Um, touch controllers for my Rift, actually really really comfortable these are, uh, my Rift sits up there out of the way so I don't get too much dust on it and no light can really affect the lenses, which it's a bit messy down there but it is going to be sorted, I, the next thing I'm going to hopefully upgrade will be I'll be getting rid of the Elgato and having one internal to my uh, my PC 
Um, so yeah, that's that's my setup. Um, so the green screen, the way I work to green screen is basically I just drawing pinned a green a green screen that I bought off Amazon for twelve quid all the way along there. You'll have to ignore that. I used to hang. I've got Sugru there, and I used to hang two uh, two hats there. Looks like looks like something you should uh, do that with, but it isn't. I, honest, there's no one behind there. I promise. Um, so yeah, you've got my two my uh, hot ass hot ass system there, and my games underneath. Um, I don't often use a hot ass anymore. Uh, my weights, and then yeah, my sofa. But yeah, having this up here is really good. But the only problem I've got is because this so that light there shines through there beams down to there and then i'll get a dark line that comes across there so this isn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination and it will be going pink 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 muddy what are you on about we'll be going green the whole wall will be going green from there to there all the way along this is going to be sorted this wall is going to be sorted as well. This is where I play retro games and it's a bit messy at the moment because I've uh, been doing stuff, emptying boxes out, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of things. I'm going to replace this sofa with three car seats that are going to be on a movable bases that lock in together. That's the idea. That is going to be... Uh, be replaced with an F1 rim, like a full F1 rim, the glass top on it. Um, that's what I'm going to be asking for for my birthday, so uh, that's August. So it's going to take that amount of time to do that. Down there, some of the eagle-eyed viewers might see my one-to-one uh, -one sides replica needler. Yeah, I'm a big Master Chief fan. Um, so that's that. Um, I use a Logitech webcam. Um, the Microsoft one over there... Uh, just isn't that great if I'm honest so I got, I'm gonna probably get another Logitech webcam see if I can get one a little bit cheaper and I've got that one that cost me about 100 quid that thing um, so yeah it's, it's, this is a tour and uh, oh yeah my radio that's gonna be <coughs> put on a wall over here and I'm gonna get a slightly bigger one so that's gonna be going to my other and father laws gonna be getting a slightly bigger radio it's gonna be on the wall because uh, random law and legislation is you can't, because this is a conservatory, I mean look at all that light that I have to deal with, because this is a conservatory, um, I'm not allowed to, um, not allowed to put a heating system, a gas, a gas central heating system out into the conservatory. So the way around that has been for the last couple of years, to have a oil filled radiator that I put in and put it right next to me because these things don't give off a lot of heat. But there's going to be multiple things going on this year, hopefully, to this room. So next time I do a overview of my gaming setup, which uh, I will be actually taking apart and um, doing a new review of. So I'm going to do a review of that bit there. And then do a review of the wheel stand and then compare the wheel stand with the uh, next level wheel stand, which Paul's going to bring over, Kevlar mouth. Um, so there's going to be multiple things going on here because I keep, I know that I've been a bit lax recently and I've just been streaming. But and I appreciate you guys so much for getting me to a thousand subs and your continued efforts to join in with things on the stream. It just blows my mind that there's a thousand people out there that are happy to watch my my stuff and also there's there's people out there that donate and to the, my donators thank you so much just for supporting the channel i am trying to think of other ways that i can uh, thank you as in show you um on the end of a stream or something but i'm really not good with video editing or actually understanding how obs works so i'm going to be trying streamlabs obs and I'm going to see if there's anything more i can do with that but um yeah so that's my little setup guys um any questions please leave them down below I've been Muddy Gamer, um, I hope to see you in the next one, and uh, yeah, remember, no sauce.